Welcome back for another episode of Minecraft Story Mode Season 2. We are now on Episode 4 that was released three days ago, something like that. I was planning on getting this episode up like the day of release, and I totally forgot the release date. So I was reminded when I saw somebody else upload an episode of Minecraft Story Mode Season 2, and I was like, oh shoot, was that the day? And I looked it up and was like, nope, that's three days ago. So we're late, but we're still going to play through this, and I'm going to upload a video a day until Episode 4 is complete. So let's go ahead and get started. Hopefully they give it a little refresher on where we're at in the story because it's been a while. Previously on Minecraft Story Mode. The admin, a villain who can become anyone with a wave of his hand. How do you face a foe who's never exactly as he seems? Do you refuse to hide who you really are? Even when it might be a better idea to stay <laughs> under the radar? Not everyone can face a trickster head on. Some join him. Others put on a brave face, even when they're scared. No matter what, encountering that kind of evil changes you. It can turn you into a hero? Or something else if there's a lesson to be learned it's be careful when you get close to an admin you never know what might happen if you dig too deep still don't like radar i find him very annoying is that his name i think so whatever This looks ominous. Pretty cool, though. <laughs> Don't worry, everyone. This is just like the time I jumped from the cliffs of the Owl. Only, uh, uh, who am I kidding? This is nothing like that. Thanks again for not leaving him behind. Though... Let's be honest. No way you'd pick some llama over Nermi here. She's not just some llama. Luna's back there all alone. Probably scared. I just hope Luna is okay. Yeah, me too. She'll be fine. Look, she's an animal. She's got survival instincts. I mean, I think it was an easy decision, honestly. Llamas annoyed me wow, a couple times. You were right. There's a whole world down here. The first world. Created by us. Romeo, Fred, and me. Haven't seen it since I was imprisoned. Before he bedrocked over it all. You made this? Not this. This shadow. The view from up here. Must be hard to see your world like this. How long have you been gone exactly? No idea. It's hard to keep track of the time in maximum security. Long enough for the world to change. I knew what Romeo planned to do. But still, seeing it like this... Romeo? The admin. Oh! It's worse than I imagined. This is the room where he killed Fred. I watched it happen. We refused to join him, and it was slow. You watched your friend die. That's awful. It does have a life-altering ring to it, doesn't it? But I had those memories to keep me warm for all that time in prison. Fred's keep is that way. Want to defeat Romeo? The weapon's in there. That sounded vaguely ominous. Is that? That is the biggest Enderman I've ever seen. Romeo never could leave well enough alone. He liked toying with the basic order of things. If I could go one day, just one day without seeing something new and completely terrifying! 
So that thing is another admin created monstrosity. Time to move, guys. <gasps> so mesmerizing. Not in the eyes, Radar. Don't look at its eyes. <gasps> Sorry, Jesse. I don't know what happened. It was just hypnotic. So big. Chloe. Go, go. Going. <gasps> Thanks. It's dismantling the tower. My town isn't far from here. I'll lead the way. Fred's keep lies just on the other side, and we'll have some cover from that thing. What? D do you guys see? Jesse, we've got to go. Uh oh, time for an action montage. Right? At least I'm assuming, based on other intros. Maybe not. <laughs> I guessed wrong, apparently. This is much more entertaining, just, you know, a stroll, you know, this world. Who needs action, right? I kind of wish you can crawl in Minecraft. Kind of has like <laughs> a little zombie. Has the feel of like a horror intro, you know, a comedic horror movie, I guess. Right here. asking for me cuz cuz I'm tough whatever our defenses are impressive state of the art machinery automated farming the oasis is a completely self-sustaining city it's home what what happened to it i'm so sorry i can only imagine if i saw beacon town like this save your pity Wait, this is your town? What has he done to it? Hang on. I just need to see if it's still here. We have to keep moving. No telling what the admin is up to in Beacon Town. And they'll all think it's me. <laughs> oh, Nermi, Nermi, it's okay. <laughs> Come here, pal. It's okay. <laughs> Nermi's kind of a puss. Are you guys okay? Nurm here was poking around and found a llama blanket, and, um, it made him think of Luna. <laughs> Nurm ain't no. Come on, pal. No. Hey, we're gonna see Luna again. You should hang on to that blanket and give it to her when we do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, Jesse. Years without sleep! Years! <laughs> Only rest is at home. Won't rest until I get there, I said! Zara? <laughs> Look at this! My bed! Come on! She's freaking out about a bed? Really? Could she be any more melodramatic? <laughs> Come on, guys, be nice. I'm being as nice as I possibly can. No, no, you're right. Sorry, Jesse. I just wanted to sleep. 
I thought if I could find this one thing, one last thing still whole, there's no hope for this place. I'll never get it back now. I made sure. I know you're upset, but you can sleep once we've defeated the admin. That has to come first. So simple for you. Has not dried out. Stuck open. Gross! So, is it time for me to explore? No? Okay. Zara, what are you doing over here by this, uh... It's a portal. What? A portal. Broken now, like everything else. Just leave me here. Go. You want to destroy Romeo, don't you? Make him pay for what he did to you, your town? Then you have to get up. Not much use stuck down here. But what about the portal? Where does it go, anyway? Nowhere, obviously. It's broken. We built these so we could visit each other. An object in the frame would teleport you to the owner. My idea, by the way. Though Romeo took credit for it. Fred wanted to add the birch. He loved birch. So you'd know how to rebuild it. And get us up to the admin. I don't know if I can. If it was your idea, then you should know how to fix it, right? Unless it really was Romeo's invention. It was not. I don't know. Not sure I buy it. Mm. I see what you're doing. I don't get it. Why don't you keep going? Look where you are. But you're still fighting. Why? The admin hurt the people I care about. Nobody gets away with that. Nobody. So I'm finding Fred's weapon and taking him down. Fine. It won't work without a personal object. Something with a strong bond to Romeo to take us right to him. Though an object crafted on the surface could do in a pinch. Let me worry about finding an object for the portal. You just focus on getting it running. Follow the tracks. They'll lead you to Fred's keep. Whatever Fred found, he hid it at home. That's what he told me. Jesse! Go. I'll see what I can do. Oh, yeah. I forgot this rolling mechanic they put in. Not a huge fan of it. Ow. Stop it. Zara said to follow the tracks to Fred's keep. That's where we'll find the weapon. Kind of useless unless we can find a way out of here. Can't exactly go back up through that prison. Zara's got it covered. Oh, great. Just what this place needed. Run on ahead! I never say no to a little gunpowder. Close one. Fred's keep, here we come. Uh, Jesse? Oh, no. Who made eye contact with the Enderman? Sorry. Go! See, that guy's worthless. It's okay. We're still okay, so long as it doesn't do that. Everybody jump! Jack! I'm okay! No! Need to stop saying that! <laughs> you two are in a bit of a pinch, ain't ya? Smell like a couple of admin lackeys to me. AKA trouble. Definitely smells like admin. You don't know what an admin smells like. Yeah, we're kind of stuck here. Can you help us out? <sighs> Maybe. Depends, really. Yeah, depends. We've been 
scavenging these lands since the darkness fell. You know what? We can sniff out an outsider when we sniff one. So what are you doing all the way down here, small fry? You lost? We're here to take down the admin. <laughs> You're kidding. You can't even make it off this gravel cliff by yourself. <laughs> <laughs> maybe we help you, maybe we just walk away. Leave you here to die. The first one. Pick the first one. I don't know. Seems like a lot of work. Getting down there. Pulling you up. Ugh, my arms are tired. You should help us because it's the right thing to do. If you see someone in trouble, you have to do something. You think any of this down here is right? <laughs> right went out the window with the rest of the sky. What? Uh, maybe I do feel a little sorry for you, though. Here's the deal, folks. Down here, we don't do anything for free. Can't really blame us. What with the giant monsters and nothing growing. So, how about we take your inventory for a spin? Permanently! We're really interested in any weaponry you may have. <sighs> a warrior without their sword in a place like this is dead meat! Your friend doesn't look like he's gonna last much longer. What'll it be? Don't do it, Jesse. We can find another way. Your swords? Or splat! Flatter than a lily pad at the bottom of this canyon. Yeah, <laughs> splat. Ooh. Here! And one more makes two. Fine, but pull me up first. One nasty fall. Thank you. Those are fine blades. Oh, so now I'm being rude. The name's Porkchop. And this here's my crew. The toughest scavengers you'll ever have the pleasure of meeting. Hiya. Sup. Best be careful as you get on your way. You're looking a little squishy. <laughs> Seriously, though, watch out. <laughs> Never know when a cliff will just... Jump out at ya! <laughs> Boo! Thanks for your help. Thanks for this beauty! Oh, and, uh, make sure to keep your pockets stocked for next time, alright? <laughs> oh. One last piece of advice? Keep your eyes peeled. You're not alone down here. Yeah, luck, squeakies! Did they like just try to find the most annoying voice actors they could for this episode? Great, let's go. Jesse, Jack, are you okay? I've been better. What are you doing? Where's your sword? Um, uh, come on. Oh, stupid scavengers, stupid cliffs. This never would have happened. Okay, that's it. What happened up there? Oh, we got shaken down by a couple of scavengers, and they took our swords. Well, at least you're okay, right? <sighs> I guess. Just haven't felt this pathetic since... Well, it's been a long time. Now we've got nothing to protect us against a normal Enderman, let alone a giant one. Well, I mean, it's not the first time we've been seemingly defenseless. Jack, are you or are you not the, uh, raging storm of... Chune? Is it June? Junji Chunji Forest. <laughs> right. We don't need a sword. You are a weapon. Yeah, those scavs would have been terrified if they knew, right? <laughs> Horrified. Thanks, Jesse. Guess this is how they keep the mobs out.
Thanks for watching today's video. If you didn't get enough spend time for today, you can click on this annotation right here to watch another recent video. We'll be back tomorrow with more Minecraft story mode, but remember there's a brand new video here every single Monday, so until then, spin out.